I've just completed my first Arduino MIDI controller project and I'm super excited about it. I did a three pedal system for my piano here and uh, I, I didn't find anyone else who'd done the exact same thing online, but it's a fairly simple project. So I'm gonna give you all the details if you want to copy this for your own setup at home. It's pretty easy to do. I don't really know much about programming or Arduinos. I This is my first foray into it. So. Uh, but it's really exciting because I think that there's just a lot of things you can do with Arduino and I want to keep playing around, maybe make some more MIDI controllers. But for this project, um, I have my Korg D1 here and it does not natively support more than one damper pedal. And on acoustic piano, we have usually three pedals. So I wanted a way to do that and get the MIDI data into the computer so I can run it at least from software. Now it won't work uh, with the onboard sounds of the D1, but I'm using Piano Tech on the computer anyways, so I don't really care about that. It might possibly work um, right into the D1 through the MIDI in, but I haven't tried it yet, so maybe I will in the future. Anyways, uh, it works perfectly on the computer. This little cigar box is the project as it stands. I'm gonna be building a proper case for this and to house all the pedals and make it really neat. So. The next video on this project will be um, more aesthetic decorations, uh, proper pedal housing. Anyways, this is what it looks like inside. It's um, it's not a whole lot. There's three uh, quarter inch jacks and that is just wired straight to the Arduino. I didn't even need a breadboard for this. Uh, all the connections are right there. The jacks are just solder soldered to cables and those go into the Arduino and it's got the USB for power and communication. It was a pretty simple project and I will give you my final code for it. Um, I did not write it, but uh, credit to Notes and Volts who has uh, several videos on making MIDI controllers with Arduino. And um, he wrote the code for the buttons and potentiometers and I modified it a little bit and I set it up for this project so I will share that but the credit goes to him I did not write most of it I just tweaked it for my own use a big shout out to my new friend Prosh on discord who helped me with this project as well as notes and volts who wrote the code that I used so for this project I used two normal switch type pedals which are uh, your mono jack piano pedals uh, that's your standard damper pedals. They have just an on and an off state. They're not half dampers. Um, those were wired as buttons to the Arduino. And then I had, um, I bought this Yamaha FC3A, hoping it would work natively with the Korg. And spoiler alert, it does not. So if you want a half damper pedal that works with the D1, do buy the actual Korg uh, DS1H, I think it is. Um, that's the natively supported half damper pedal. The Yamaha works absolutely fine for this project with the Arduino, but it does nothing if you connect it straight to the damper jack. So just be aware of that. However, it's uh, a lot cheaper. It ran me about $36. Uh, the Korg pedal was around 60. So I figured I'd give it a shot and it works fine for this project. So you can use that. In fact, they're cheap enough that I could eventually maybe upgrade to three of those units and have them all be analog sensors, which is cool. If you do want to follow along with this, I suggest you watch the videos from Notes and Volts. I will post a link to those because that goes more into depth of how these things work and how you might want to modify it if you're not building this exact thing. But I'm going to pull up the schematic here and you can see it's pretty simple setup. The Yamaha uh, half damper pedal is going into an analog input and it does send a full range of analog values, so the MIDI from 0 to 127 and anywhere in between. Uh, that is a TRS, uh, tip ring sleeve or stereo plug, and that is being routed to MIDI CC64, which is the normal damper function uh, in MIDI. It could be anything and it would probably work just fine, but I wanted to keep to the proper numbers because uh, you know it makes things easier. Uh, the tip of that is going to analog input zero, A0. The ring is going to ground and the sleeve is going to five volt. Now you can swap these around and I did a few times. My original wiring was the tip going to five volt, the ring going to A0 and the ground, um, the sleeve going to ground. And that also worked, but for one, 
for some reason, the MIDI input was not sensing the full range. So it was sensing values from about 10 to 115 or so. Um, I'm not sure why it still worked in the software, but it, for whatever reason, wasn't getting the full range. Uh, when I swapped the uh, five volt, then I swapped the tip and the ring, the proper full range was detected. So I went with that. Then I swapped around the ground and the five volt connection after that. And that got me this final layout. And this now has reversed polarity from what the pedal sends, uh, which in my software detects it as a, as it should, as a regular normal polarity. But the Yamaha pedals for whatever reason are inverted. Now, if you have a different pedal, you could swap the five volt in the ground and they would not be inverted. So just check on what kind of pedal you have. The other two pedals are a little simpler. They are just set up as buttons in the software, uh, mapped to MIDI CC 66 and 67, which are the soft and sostenuto functions. The tip of button one is going to D2 and the tip of button two is going to D3 and the sleeve of each is going to ground. And because there's three ground slots on the Arduino, I could just keep those all separate and use all three of the ground ports. I didn't have to have any additional circuitry. So all you have to do is wire up a quarter inch jack and um, the correct way, and then plug the other end right into the Arduino. So that is the basic setup here. Now, if you wanted to use this with say three normal button type damper pedals, that would work. If you wanted to do it with three um, analog type half damper pedals, that would also work. So it's flexible. You could set up with four pedals, set up with six if you want. Piano Tech only supports four pedals. So if I did want to expand this to a fourth pedal, um, I could, but I don't think I'm going to because I don't really see myself needing four pedals at the same time. Uh, three should be plenty. You can also use this similar setup to create a MIDI controller with knobs and buttons and faders and uh, use that in your software for whatever purpose you would like. Um, that is the original function of this code anyways, but it works just fine with pedals. A few notes on some of the other things I did differently with the code. I did add in a line that specified the baud rate for the hairless to MIDI converter, which is a software that uh, I will also link in the description that uh, converts the Arduino USB to a MIDI signal. The Arduino outputs serial information and it converts it to MIDI. And then I also used the loop MIDI software to create a virtual MIDI input. And I tried running it directly to my audio interface, which has MIDI, but for some reason it just was not picking that up. Uh, I don't really know why, but anyways, the loop MIDI software worked fine in this instance. So it was pretty easy to set up. Uh, the loop MIDI, you just set up once and you're done. In order to use this, uh, I need to plug it into the USB and I need to open up the hairless to MIDI converter which loads right up and then it's good to go. Um, everything is pre-configured and uh, was having some errors with the code last night that took a while to troubleshoot. It was sending like program change information. It was giving me errors in the um, hairless to MIDI debug window. And uh, that was just a baud rate issue. And so I did have to add a line into the code that specified that because this code was written for wiring it directly to a five pin MIDI. Um, and in the future I may do that, but for now it's fine running off of USB. I don't encounter any latency with it. So I have no issue running it USB. And if I was running it off of MIDI, I would need an external power, which uh, the Arduino can take nine volt standard adapter, but then I have two cables when one works just fine in this case. So I think it's better to run it off of MIDI. But with that line specifying the baud rate in the code, that worked just fine. And then um, you just need to de define your number of buttons and pots. In this case, the uh, half damper pedal is a potentiometer. And so you do that, you set the the settings right like like I showed you and it works just fine. I don't think there's too much more to say. Um, it took me a long time to troubleshoot everything, but if you do want to do this and you use this exact code and this setup, it will work fine and you shouldn't have to do any troubleshooting. Um, 
Yeah, as I said, you can easily customize it or add to it as well, and that would be um, no problem at all. My next step in this is making a nice enclosure, and I want to make an all-in-one box to house the pedals and the Arduino. So there's only one cable, which will be the USB cable, and all the other cables will be tucked inside. It will be nice and neat. I can paint it black, and uh, it will look a little more professional than some pedals on the floor and a cigar box. <laughs> but um, but I'm going to uh, have to get that done, and then I will uh, show you how I built that. Anyways, I hope this all makes sense. You can, as always, leave me uh, questions you have if you want to know anything more about how this project works. But as I said, I'm not an expert on Arduino, so um, I don't know if I'm the right person to ask. But feel free to let me know what you think, and... Um, I uh, hope you enjoy it. If you uh, have a similar need with your digital piano, then I recommend going this route. Uh, one last thing I'll say is, um, you know, and I'll, I'll provide links to the parts in the description too. Uh, all you basically need is an Arduino and it's probably good to have some cables for it too. You could do this with, uh, I used an Uno board. You could do it with an Arduino Nano and that, um, Either of those are super cheap. I got this Uno board for like twelve or thirteen dollars, and you can even get like a, I, I was looking around, I saw like a three pack of Nano boards for thirteen, and I think that would work just fine. Uh, you might have to change the wiring ever so slightly, but I believe it's the same chipset, so the code should work on a Nano board. Though disclaimer, I have not tried that. But anyways, this whole setup, I mean, not including the pedals, this cost, you know, it was twelve bucks for the board, and then I got some cables from a friend. Um, you might have wire around. Uh, cables are super cheap anyways. And uh, that's that's a great deal. Compared to the MIDI Expressions pedal I was looking at, which would be $120, this was <laughs> a tenth of the price. And, um, and while it was a little more work, I think it was worth it because uh, I learned something and I can make something unique and it's customizable and maybe I'll be making some more MIDI controllers. So it's a great way to educate yourself on this software and it's fun. Um, it is, it feels really good to build something yourself and uh, to learn, learn something along the way about coding and um, making MIDI controllers. And so, yeah, it's certainly the cheap way to go. You can use basically any pedals you want from any manufacturer, which is another problem with a lot of digital pianos. They're very brand specific when it comes to pedals. Um, and some of them have odd connectors. You'd have to find out a way around that, though you could maybe even strip off the connectors uh, or, I don't know, I'll leave that up to you. But if you're using regular quarter inch pedals, you can just uh, use a guitar jack. You might even, you could even solder to the tip, but <laughs> I wouldn't do that. So it's easy enough to, I have jacks laying around. Anyways, in conclusion, it was cheap. It was relatively painless and easy. Um, and if you want to copy this project, it'll be even easier for you. So I encourage you to try it if this is something you need for your system. And um, hopefully maybe someone out there will be helped by it because I had to do a lot of digging around and didn't find anything exactly like this. So maybe there's someone else who wants to build a project like this and this can help you. So uh, good luck if you do. And, uh, you know. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you with more videos on this in the future. Thanks.